Welcome back everyone. In this week's video, I'm going to make a sharpening station for my knives, chisels, and planer blades. Now I've already got a sharpening station for my water stones, and if you haven't seen that video, you should go check out the link in the description below. To keep a lot of my tools sharp, I do use a leather strop from time to time. I'm going to make a jig for a part-time sharpening station using a really cheap drill and this $20 Beavercraft stropping kit that comes with the hardware that will fit right into the drill. Now, you might ask, why didn't I just buy a grinder? While it's true, you can pick up a grinder for about $40 brand new. Most benchtop grinders come with a 60 and or 80 grit disc, which is fine if you've got a really tough piece of steel and you need to get the edge back from scratch. When it comes to your chisels and knives, you don't want to put them under that kind of stress and you don't want to heat up the steel that much. My whetstone station is still an important part of my sharpening process. I really wanted something better for stropping. I wanted to try this stropping disc. Now the stropping disc came with this polishing compound which will add the grit to it that is necessary for getting that nice sharp edge. If it does what it's supposed to do, I should be able to get things sharp in no time and I should be able to cut the amount of time I spend sharpening down by quite a bit. For this project, you're going to need a cheap drill with a cord and more importantly you want a hold switch on that drill. You're going to need a two inch piece of PVC pipe. In this video I'm just going to use um, an old vacuum pipe and the $20 piece of kit that you need is a leather stropping wheel. Uh, you can also make your own leather desk wheel and all this really is is four leather discs that are around 3 16 in thickness glued together to make this three inch diameter stropping disc. You can just buy the hardware which is about ten dollars I think it was $9.99 US. You also need a scrap piece of plywood. I've got this one inch piece of plywood. It's a little bit thick. It's a little bit overkill for what I need it for. If you have three quarter inch plywood that'll do just fine. One of my new favorite things to work with, especially when I'm making jigs, is using CA glue. You've got the activator and you've got the adhesive and this stuff works like a miracle.
I'm not gonna bore you with sharpening a whole bunch of tools in this video. Um, suffice it to say, I just grabbed three tools that could use a sharpen, actually two chisels and one knife to be exact, and the results are really spectacular. This Emile Perron chisel is now razor sharp. It is part of a set of five bench chisels that I bought from Lee Valley Tools. Now the edge is razor sharp and it literally only took 10 seconds to get that. My old lockback buckskin knife was a little bit of a challenge. It was a, a lot duller than the chisels, but it actually sharpened up really fast, uh, just within, again, 10 seconds of using it and guiding it through at the right angle. And uh, now I have a nice razor sharp knife again. The arms that I built onto the station allow some articulation so that I can angle it a little bit and raise the vertical arm up and down quite easily. As simple as the build is, it has a lot of cool features. I have a little raised platform to put things down on. I thought about how to make a guide fence for this but really what I ended up doing was making guide blocks that could just be clamped onto the vertical arm and easily removed or flipped upside down to give me different angles to work with. Though that's not an adjustable angle like on a grinder, it's easy enough to make these blocks at different angles, mark them and then just store them away. I can make as many of these blocks as I need and have a set of guide blocks that will help me use this station with different types of blades. The Beavercraft stropping wheel and the buffing compound that came with it are a great combination. They worked out really, really well. I couldn't be happier with the results that I got. I definitely recommend this for $20. You can't go wrong. If you have a cheap drill, and I mean guys, use a cheap drill that's corded and it's got a locking switch on it. I happen to have that cheap Ryobi corded drill in my shop already, but if you don't have one, you could definitely pick one up at a flea market or a garage sale for probably five bucks. Just that little bit of hardware and some plywood and you're ready to go. Now again, I have to reiterate, this is not for restoring blades. If you've got a rough blade that needs help, it needs to be restored from scratch, you wanna start with your process on your whetstones, or maybe if you've already got a grinder set up in your shop, you might start with that on a higher grit stone. And that concludes making your own rapid sharpening station. If you wanna to donate to this channel, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.